effective codes of ethics encourage professionals to act ethically, not just to comply with rules, but because it is the right thing to do. For instance, Section 540 of the Ethics Code for Professional Accountants addresses threats to independence arising from long-term audit engagements. Overall, ethics codes are powerful tools that promote ethical conduct, empower professionals to make good choices, and strengthen the overall integrity of a profession. Additionally, in April 2021, revisions were made to the Non-Assurance Services, or NAS, provisions. With this foundation of key changes and ongoing improvements, we are now ready to delve deeper into the five fundamental principles that guide the code of ethics. Another consequence is that it serves like a cautionary tale for the entire accounting profession, highlighting the importance of first transparency, full disclosure of potential conflicts is crucial to maintaining trust and preventing ethical lapses. And careful consideration of waivers. Granting waivers to ethical policies should be done with caution and only when absolutely necessary. The PwC and Dos Santos case highlights the complexity of navigating potential conflicts in situations with clients with controversies or accusations. And, and the case raised ethical concerns due to Deloitte's significant financial gain from the situation, which exceeded like 15 million sterling pounds in fees, you know, being the liquidator. The so we will tackle all of these points. Professional skepticism, it plays a critical role in maintaining the integrity and reliability of the accounting profession. Okay. And then another key takeaway is that the case underscores the importance of continuous vigilance and skepticism throughout the audit process. Because some new things can come up, it involves applying our relevant knowledge, our skills, our experience to specific situations, considering the nature, the scope, and the context of the professional activity, accounting for the interests and relationships involved. Professional judgment is crucial when applying the conceptual framework to make informed decisions regarding what could be the available courses of action. Sometimes there can be a bias that because of a particular pattern that is already universally something applicable to all. By recognizing and mitigating potential biases, accounting professionals can uphold public trust, protecting public interest, and ensure the integrity of the marketplace. The Securities and Exchange Commission found that PW India affiliates failed to perform essential audit procedures, such as simply confirming cash and accounts receivable balances. So this failure, specifically the omission of third-party confirmation procedures, allowed the fraud to remain undetected. The consequences. The fraud resulted in a significant harm to the stakeholders of Satyam Computer Services. And the regulatory sanction is that SEC imposed $6 million of penalty. However, preventing ethical misconduct requires a combination of factors, including, first of all, the individual's integrity your adherence to ethical principles, a long-term thinking about your reputation. We also need an organizational culture that prioritizes ethics and values and a robust regulatory framework. So all of this interplay underscores the complexity of ethical decision-making in the accounting professions. Recognizing these challenges, upholding ethical codes, really learning constantly, fostering a culture of integrity, continuing development, the accounting profession can build and maintain public trust.